What's happening, friends? Welcome back to Dynamo DeFi. My name is Patrick, and on this channel, I talk about cryptocurrency, decentralized finance, and economics. Back with another video today. This one is a follow up on a video I did a few days ago about how to build a DeFi portfolio. Now, that last video, I did a sample portfolio in the Avalanche ecosystem, and some people said, well, what about what about all the other crypto ecosystems out there? So today I'm going to show you how I might go about constructing a DeFi portfolio for passive income on the Phantom Network. And I'll be doing similar videos for other networks, including Terra and more. Cool. And before I get any further, I just want to remind you that nothing in this video is financial advice saying that you should invest into these pools or in these cryptocurrencies. This is merely educational to help you figure out how to construct a DeFi portfolio yourself. And I'll also say that the allocations and the types of pools that I talk about, this is what would fit my personal risk tolerance and my, my personal comfort level. You'll have to decide for yourself what would work for you. With that being said, let's look at some uh, cool DeFi projects. So uh, I'll, I'll jump to straight to all four categories that I like to break things down in this time, uh, rather than going through them one by one. Uh, but, but as a quick refresher, the four categories are going to be first stable coins. So those are coins typically pegged to a currency. And some people might think 30% is high. I think for me, at least 30% is solid because when these dips happen that are 30, 40%, you know, 30% is not going to seem like a lot then. It's going to seem like not enough. You're going to wish everything was stable coins. So uh, I always like to keep some ammunition in stable coins and you can still earn 20, 30% APR on those. And then we have high conviction, large caps. These are coins that are in the top 100 that you have a lot of conviction in, you believe in the team, uh, you'd be willing to hold these through any sort of market conditions or dip. And that usually I target around 40% of my portfolio. Then we have the high conviction small caps. These are projects that you believe in, that the, they have solid developers, but either the developers might be anonymous and unknown, which is always a larger risk, or the project might only be a few months old, again, risky, or they might be hyperinflationary. You know, these are projects where they might be offering 300% APR, and that's and that's phenomenal. But but eventually, when the music stops, uh, you know, you do have to worry about the price dropping. So 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 that I, I typically keep around 20%. Um, I, I will say before I didn't mention this in the other video. But before I go further, I will say that some people I know, some of the most successful crypto investors, they uh, have almost everything in this pool. They have you know 60% in this pool, and, and they concentrate their bets. But if, but if you're not experienced, you know, not financial advice, but but I think you'd probably be well served. I would be well served to have some in the larger cap cryptos as well. Then we have the finally the last pool, which is what I might call moonshots, micro caps. Some would call them degen plays. These are going to be the things that are just ridiculous APR. You know, one thousand percent, two thousand percent APR. Uh, just you know, paying out sometimes five, ten percent a day. In, in these types of projects, don't last very long. These you really have to, really have to be on top of, and you know if you don't want the stress, you could just have this at zero percent, put everything in, in the small caps instead. But uh, but I personally, because I'm very active on keeping up my portfolio, I, I allocate some to these sorts of projects. Cool. And so let's look at how we might go about building a portfolio like this in on Phantom. First, we're going to want to find some stablecoin pools. So on Phantom, I think the best place to find these would be on Beefy Finance. You could get to the Phantom app on Beefy by going to app.beefy.finance slash pound slash phantom. For my youngsters out there, pound is the same as hashtag. Um, and cool. So let's, we sorted by APY already, and then I'm just going to filter to some stable coins. So first I'll filter to USDC pools on Phantom. And this is going to show you pools across a number of different protocols on Phantom. And now one thing I'll say is, as you're evaluating these pools, there's two risks you have to look at. First is what asset are you holding? So is it an asset that's risky? Second is where is the asset being held? Because some protocols are going to be more battle tested than others. Um, so let's let's look at these. JetSwap not too familiar with. So here I'm looking for a pool that is solely stable coins. And uh, you know, haven't seen any Yet, here's one, USDC MY. So this is 34% APY. That is very nice, right? That's that's on two stablecoins. 
Dai USDC is similar at 31%. And uh, let's see, TUSD, that's true USD, USDC is 23%. So just right there, I found three pools that are 20 to 35% on stable coins. And Spooky Swap, Spirit Swap are both very well regarded apps within Phantom. So I would have a lot of confidence in those. Um, Dai probably is more, has, certainly is larger and more well known than Mai. So, so this one might be less risky in that respect. Uh, let's also look up Frax. Frax is another great stablecoin. So Frax is actually 39% APY on Scream. Now, unfortunately, Scream does not allow does not allow uh, people in the United States to use their platform. They have a uh, thing that blocks IP addresses, so so I wouldn't be able to use that one. So for this first part of the portfolio, uh, using um, using stablecoins, I'm going to go into. I'm going to say that I would use. Where was that pool? USDC my. I'm going to go with that one. Thirty three percent. That is can't ask for better than that. That's going to be solid. So to go back to our allocations, here you can see now uh, I'm looking for something that is going to have high conviction, large cap plays on Phantom. So now we're not just looking for stable coins. And then this, you know, usually as you go riskier, the APYs are going to get a little higher. The 33% was already solid. So let's find a pool that has Phantom. Since we're on the Phantom network, I definitely want some exposure to Phantom. T-Share Phantom, that is an amazing APY. But this, I would say, I would qualify into like the small cap category. So this this pool, I'll make a mental note that, that uh, we may want that one for the small cap. Let's see, Tomb Phantom, similar. You know that that actually could be solid because Tomb is Tomb's going to be uh, somewhat pegged to Phantom. Uh, but the one that I think is really interesting is this Battle of the Bands one on Beethoven. So Beethoven is in app on phantom that lets you have more than two tokens in a pool and so this battle of the bands thing is you know, so all of their pools are named after musical things because it's called beethoven so if that wasn't clear but this battle of the bands thing you can see is phantom matic solana avax luna and bnb so it's almost like a uh index of ethereum competitors and it's earning 146 percent apr i mean wow that is that is great. I would sleep very well having having my uh, a good chunk of my portfolio in this. You know, you're just earning earning very high APR that you can compound or spend up whatever you want, and then you also have have uh, exposure to all these different cryptocurrencies. Uh, it, let's see. Let's find at least one more to compare it to. Another Beethoven one, Song of Ice and Fire. I pulled this one aside before I made the video. This is going to be Phantom Spell. MIM, which is a stable coin in ICE. So these are all tokens made by the developer, Daniel Sestagelli. He's a, one of the most well-known developers in DeFi. He didn't make Phantom, but he, the other three are his tokens. And this is paying out 81% APR. So so if, if you like that ecosystem of uh, his, his uh, types of projects, then this would be a great pool to go into. And, and I do like his projects. I think, though, for uh, this part of my portfolio, for this, you know, mock demonstration. Uh, I would say I'm going to put 40% into that Battle of the Bands, Battle of the Bands pool. That is uh, that is six six solid layer one cryptocurrencies. Uh, just for demonstration, though, I, I will look at some other pools that you could consider. I think USDC, USDT, Phantom, those are both over 100% APY. That's going to be a solid option, too. You have Phantom, and the volatility is going to be slightly less because it's paired with a stable coin. You also have the Solana Sonata, another Beethoven one. That's going to be a stable coin, Phantom and Solana. And I think any of those could be could be solid here. And, and you know, you can see that there's many, many more too. But but for this one, I'm going to go with this one that's basically an index of layer ones and it's earning 146%. So that is that is solid, more than you usually get in this category. So next up we have our high conviction small cap coin. So this is we're looking for something that is a project that we believe in will last multiple months, uh, but it's riskier, right? You know, uh, it, it's not gonna, it's not gonna, it, it could fade into irrelevancy, is what I'll say. The large caps will not, you know. BNB is gonna be relevant, AVAX is gonna be relevant, Matic is gonna be relevant, uh, but small caps, you know, if it's a project just on one ecosystem, it's a little bit more risky. But we're looking for something with a higher APR here. So that here we want something that is gonna be even better than the layer one. 
layer one pool we just did. And I think the top one I see here is T-Share Phantom. I mean, that is a really high APY, and T-Share is one of the tokens for Tomb. Tomb has been really popular lately, so, so that's something that would be good to get exposure to. Uh, another thing that would I would commonly put in this category would be DEX tokens. So that would be, in the case of Phantom, either Spirit or Boo, Boo being the token of Sushi Swap. And uh, let's see, yeah, so these ones actually, the APYs aren't as good as I would have expected. Boo Phantom is down to 66%. One thing that's nice about these types of tokens is usually they're going to move with with the layer one they're on. So when Phantom goes up, Boo typically goes up as well, and it goes up by a similar amount or more. Uh, so, so in that respect, you can sort of avoid some of the permanent loss, permanent loss issues. But here, I mean that that uh, T-share APY is just too good to pass up. Almost one percent daily. I mean, I'll take that all day long. So uh, I'll say that this 20% of my portfolio, I'll put in T-Share Phantom. And, and again, you know, the thing you might notice with this is I'm just choosing one per category. You could choose two, but, but to bake a balanced DeFi portfolio, you really don't need more than, than four or five different pools you're in. Maybe even less, depending on uh, depending on which pools you specifically decide to go into. Um, I am just doing this on one ecosystem. Typically, I would split my farms across multiple ecosystems, so I'm not too exposed to, say, just Phantom or just Avalanche. But but yeah, I mean, there, there's no need to be in like 10 or 20 different pools. You're just going to uh, make it more complicated for yourself if you find solid investments you believe in. I mean, you're going to miss opportunities, but you're going to miss opportunities anyways. You can't catch you can't catch everything. There's just too many. Um, cool. Yeah, and so that is, that is uh, our high conviction small cap coins. Now we have our micro... Microcap Moonshots Degen. And now, the example I'm going to show you is not actually a microcap. Its market cap is over 100 million, but it is what I would consider, you know, Degen or Moonshot type play where, where uh, you know, this this could drop by 75%, or, or it could just give you phenomenal rewards, you know, multiple percentage points a day. Uh, uh, but, but it is high risk. And in this sorts of thing, I well, I wouldn't recommend anything either way because I don't give financial advice, but but if I were looking at this, if I weren't cl watching the market very closely, I would probably avoid this category. Uh, but since I am, you know, uh, I would look for something in this category. And one that's on uh, Phantom is Hector Dow. Hector Dow is a fork of Olympus on, on uh, which is on Ethereum. And Hector is, I think, the most popular ohm fork on Phantom. If not, it's up there. One thing that I like about Hector is the backing which uh, is not loading properly right now but the backing is almost as high as the price it's it's very close and you can see one thing that's cool is their treasury is almost all in stable coins so they've die usdc mim frex um yeah there you go the backing loaded for a second it's, it's 64 dollars, 65 dollars. so so the backing is almost as high as the price which means that almost every dollar that is in their market cap they have a coin backing it up and and that's pretty cool Know, very nice to see, and and then their treasury is is pretty big, has probably over a hundred million dollars of stable coins in it, and that's a lot of currency that they can deploy. Um, again, these things are still hyper risky. I'm not saying that that's not risky, um, but but you know, I think this is a solid DGen type play on on Phantom, and the APY is eighty four thousand percent, so not bad, right? Um, you know the. the Try, try explaining that to someone who's not familiar with cryptocurrency, how, how the ABY can be 84,000%, and uh, it's going to be a long conversation. But, uh, but, but I always have a small portion of my portfolio and things like this. Um, and that's, that's all there is to it, really. Like I said, you don't need that many things to make a balanced DeFi portfolio. If there's any other ecosystems you want me to look at or any other projects you want me to look at, be sure to drop a request in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is Dynamo DeFi.